I turned 47, and I hadn't been to the doctor in 10 years, and that was uh, nerve-wracking. Figured I'd go get checked up. You can't live like this for 10 years without something being up. <laughs> I was afraid to walk in there. I was afraid to walk in the door. I figured he'd be mad at me like I hadn't been there in a long time. He was pissed. Like I walk in, he's like, oh, well, look who it is. Is that John Reap over there? Oh, it's good to see you. Let's see if I got you in here. I don't even know if you're in here anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got three days to live. I thought it was gonna be something negative. So I was nervous and I walked in. I was like, hey, buddy. Why don't you just, uh, I ain't been here in a while, so let's just test me for everything. <laughs> let's just figure this out, you know what I mean? Whatever test you have in this building, I'd like to take that test today. <laughs> let's take all the tests three times today. If you have a test back there called the Charlie Sheen, let's take that test. <laughs> And my doctor has a good sense of humor. He's like, Charlie Sheen. Okay. <laughs> we could do that. Get your blood work done. We'll do an EKG. Do a prostate exam. I was like, oh, of course, yes. Prostate exam, of course. It's important, gotta do that. Let's uh, put that on the schedule. I'll come back for that for sure. <clears throat> Well, honestly, in my brain, that was, I had to go home and drink fluids for three days, and then I come back. That's a whole nother test. <laughs> he goes, no, prostate exam. We'll do it today. We'll do it today. We'll just knock it out today. I was like, we're going to knock it out. <laughs> it's an interesting choice of words. And I'm a comedian, so I've heard all the prostate exam jokes over the years, right? The joke's always the, the patient has to bend over. And the doctor, what'd he do? Write the business. Oh. Write no foreplay. <laughs> he didn't even buy me dinner first. <laughs> I felt both hands on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never heard that one? That's old as hell. <laughs> that I didn't write that. That's old. <laughs> but that's what's going through my brain. And I'm laughing at myself. I was like, <laughs> it's my turn. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I knew that this day was coming. I just didn't know it was gonna be this day. And I wasn't mentally prepared. And my doctor could tell I was nervous. He's like, John, good Lord, calm down. This is not a big deal, right? It's real simple. And this is where he threw me a curveball. I wasn't ready for this one. He goes, it's real simple. I want you just to bring your knees to your chest, lay over on your side, and just pull your underwear down, we'll just knock it out. A uh, couple things real quick. <laughs> Number one, I physically cannot do what you just said. I can't do that. My knees have never touched my chest, ever. Ain't gonna happen today, ain't, ain't gonna happen. Number two, hold up, uh, we spooning in here? You about to hold me? But I was like, you know, whatever, he's a doctor. He knows what he's talking about. I ain't been here in 10 years, maybe it's a new technique. You know? So I just did the best I could. I was like, all right, well dang, let's see what I can do here, hang on. Uh, well, maybe if I rock, I get some momentum. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it didn't happen so fast. It was over like that. It was so quick. He just goes, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was that fast. He didn't make that noise. He didn't say, yeah, yeah. I only did that to illustrate how quick it happened. Very fast, <laughs> you know, very fast. I did hear a swishing sound. But it was over real quick and he goes, you're good, perfect prostate, you're good. And I was like, oh, good, okay, wow, <laughs> good deal. That's good, that's fast. 
Man, that was real fast. It's like, super fast. And then I started thinking, well, how could he possibly know that? I mean, think about it. In the amount of time that this man was inside of my anus, I'm thinking there is no possible way that he could have actually ascertained that information. So now I'm thinking, well, he probably hates this part of his job. I don't blame him. He just wants it over with. But if that's true, then that also means he's not doing his job properly. Now he's wasting my time. I only come here once every damn 10 years. This dude's trying to rip me off. Trying to shortchange my ass. And I found myself getting mad at him. I was like, whoa, hang on, that's, that, that's it? That's the whole test? That's, that's all you do? No, oh, oh no, hell no. You get your ass back in my ass. Get your ass back in my ass! Let's knock it out!